Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and in this video you're going to learn about conversion planning. Conversion planning is where you map out all of the possible conversion actions on your website and determine how to track and configure them in Google Analytics. It's useful to plan your conversions when you're configuring goals for the first time or whenever you review your analytics implementation. In this video, we'll walk through the four steps of conversion planning and we'll look at an example of how to map important actions on a page. Let's get started. Conversion planning doesn't need to be complicated. You can use a simple document to map out what you're going to track into Google Analytics. Let's take a look at the four steps for planning our conversions. First, ask yourself what drives value for your website and what are your top website priorities. List these down. Then head to your website and spend time going through and reviewing all the different actions people can perform. These actions should align with the priorities you've just listed. Look for both macro and micro conversion actions. Now that you've mapped out all of the actions you want people to perform, you can assign priority. So whether they're macro or micro conversions, and also assign a value to each of these actions. This could be a real, calculated, or symbolic value. Then we need to configure these inside Google Analytics so we can see conversions inside our reports. Applying these four simple steps will provide a plan of action to track your website's conversions. Now, I wanted to show an example of how to work through a page on a website in order to identify potential conversion actions. Today I'm going to use a post on the Buffer blog as my example. Now if you're not familiar with Buffer, it's an app that you can use to schedule your posts on social media. And they maintain a blog to share information relating to their audience and their product. I absolutely encourage you to actually apply this same process to your own website. You might be surprised at what you find. So let's head to the Buffer blog and check it out. So here I am on a post on the Buffer blog and what I can do is I can now spend time going through this post to identify potential actions I may want to configure as a goal inside Google Analytics. So starting off at the top I can see there's a call to action, get started with Buffer. So if I was looking up to Buffer and of course I want people to check out my product right, so in that particular case I probably would want to measure people travelling through from this call to action as a conversion inside Google Analytics. I can also see at the top here there's some options for sharing to social. So again this could be potentially a micro conversion action. And then I scroll down and I can see again more options for sharing. Could again be another micro conversion action. Here I can see embedded video content that I may want to measure as an event into Google Analytics. So I could list this down as a potential action to track. And scrolling further towards the bottom of the article here I can see another call to action. Again, potentially conversion appropriate. And further down still I have comments. So if I wanted to, I could consider measuring comments as another action that could be a conversion. And traveling down even further, I can see there's an email form to again try and get people to sign up for an email newsletter. So this would be a great example of a conversion inside Google Analytics. So I've spent some time going through a page and you can see just very quickly going through the page I've identified a whole range of different actions that firstly I want to make sure that I can track into Google Analytics and then secondly I can then make the decision about whether it's going to be a goal or other conversion action inside my reports. Now that we've traveled through the page we can list all of the actions we'd like to track. I have things like email subscribers right through to commenting on the blog. I can then go through all of these actions and decide how to track them and if they should be tracked as a conversion inside Google Analytics. For example, since the email subscribers travel through a confirmation page, I could definitely set this up as a page based goal. While people clicking on email links would require event tracking and once that's configured I can then configure the goal inside Google Analytics. So that's how you can plan your conversions in order to configure goals in Google Analytics. This is a great exercise to complete if you're setting up goals for the first time or if you're reviewing your implementation. It's a good idea to review your website and your implementation every three to six months depending on your organization and how often your website is being updated. 
take the time to identify a few important pages on your website and review them in detail. It can be helpful to get other people's opinions on the most important actions to help with your planning. Once you know the types of conversions that you want to track, it's time to configure them in Google Analytics. Watch my video on setting up goals for the steps you'll need to take to begin tracking your conversions. What actions are you tracking as conversions in Google Analytics? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.